fucking Asian name is this? Kirizawa Dasawa? Yeah, it's like... Kirizawa Dasawa Hua Ninja! It's Kiru's sister. Fuck, man. Anything that has to do with anime just makes me fucking seethe. Well, especially the pedophilia, right? Well, exactly. Speaking of pedophilia, Vosh. Um, so, Vosh's whole alliance has been... Destroyed! Basically right, just decimated. 25 minutes. For just decimated. Yeah. And now it's to the point where his, like, biggest champion, Caffles, is being exposed on the grandest stage. Let's go, Phil. So, the H3H3 Reddit has somehow finally come to the knowledge that Caffles ran the Cat Boy Ranch... Or the uh -huh. cat girl ranch or whatever the fuck this was, mm -hmm. where they were grooming underage minors into being trans. Is this true? Oh uh, it's true. So okay, so 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 how did this happen and why aren't they in jail? Well, you we all know why they're in jail, because they have a trans pass. Whoa. You can't criticize trans people for anything. They can get it well, they're above the law. So you're they're telling the most me, powerful people in society. If you're a predator and you want to rape kids, all you have to do is cut your dick off? Well, you don't even have to do that. You Jeez. just have to say that you're a woman. Whoa. You don't even have to go through the full process. Just That's say you're a woman nuts. and then you're just able to open up a Discord where you get like tons of little Wait, kids in there, and how many you does supply Josh them. Moon get? Well, I honestly, it's been crazy. Josh Moon has been racking up W's lately. Ding, ding, I don't know what to say. Ding, 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 he got his whole legal fund raised like over a hundred and thirty, forty thousand dollars. I'm not sure what felted it's at Ricada. now. Felted Rakeda. Felted Rakeda. Now he, he was vindicated on the Brianna Wu and Keffels thing when one of the people they were going against killed themselves. Now the hashtag Kiwi Farms is right is echoing throughout all the land. Yep. H3H3 is bringing up this stuff about the Catboy Ranch. And guess who else is? Mudahar! So the all, brown to guy all from in Canada. Normie Sundry, it's being revealed. The sun is now shining. The light is shining <clears throat> upon the yep. darkness of these groomers. Mason was saying, hey, Kiwi Farmers, like, look. Someone was like, hey, Mudahar, we already knew this. Let the guy expose it. Well, we just take Let, a W. Take a W. There's like sometimes like uh, people in the community, they don't know how to take a win. Yeah. It's like, well, we can't like Contra Points is going after Vosh. We can't cheer that on. Yes, we can. can. Just take the yes. W. They're all fighting and snaking it... each other. Hunter Avalone was snaking Vosh. We yes. covered that yesterday. It's so good to see them yes. all suffer and fucking destroy each other. Yes. yes praise be. It is death. Fuck all of them. Fuck all of them. Honestly, I'm so glad to see them destroy each let other. Them burn in hell. And you know, it, and by the way, isn't it funny? All this shit, it is funny how this shit uh, existed. The fucking horse cocked thing with Vosh. Yeah. The lolly stuff. Well, it this, was all that. wide out in the open right? and everybody just tolerated Swept, it. Everyone Swept the it up the under the rug. It was like Fantasia. Yeah. With all the brooms and the bot buckets. And now it took one thing. One. Uh, to f that fucking once he removed the plausible down. deniability, once he was found with the lolly on his hard drive, once he was found with the horse cock fucking children, cartoon children on his hard drive, it took it was over for Vosh. Now he's making a reply video. It's gonna be like I know. this hour long what reply saying? video. What Listen, can you uh, even I'm say? Gonna, I'm gonna, I'm well, his first defense was even crazier. He was like, "Oh, guys, it was just goblin porn or something." It was a uh, short stack goblin short porn. Short stack goblin porn. Oh, that makes like, it way better. Like all you guys know, it, it could happen to anybody. <laughs> So, uh, you know, Tipster jumped in on Keffel's side, all this sort of thing. Yeah. Let's show this Mudahar tweet real yeah. quick, just because this is coming out now about Keffel's. Keffel's is getting felted. Yeah. Uh, he goes, I'm more concerned with the allegations of you scamming the trans community out of $100,000 for a civil case of, uh, against the London police. Now, Keffel's raised this $100,000 to sue the London police. And guess what happened? Uh. In classic Coke, Coke fashion, 
It all went up Keffel's nose. Let's go, felt it. Went uh, right up his nose, snorted it all away, and admitted to that. And then still tries to have credibility to this day. <clears throat> so Mudahar then says, as I research more, I've come across disturbing revelations of her Catboy Ranch. Can't go too much into detail, but it's an insane story and none of it pleasant. Wait, is he going to a video on it? I think he is. And I Let's think, go! I think H3H3 on the next podcast is going to go into Keffel's Catboy Ranch as Let's well. Let's go, Felton. Content! So it's the a content, content tsunami Whoa! as the leftist civil war continues. Now, Tipster, yeah. who is defending Vosh and the Lollicon and all this shit, the right? Lollipop Guild, as he The Lollipop it. Guild, the Lollipop Guild. You know? He finally apologized. Okay, guys, you I, were right. CP is bad. But no, he no, bad but that me. wasn't even his apology. Oh, no. His well, apology is to Keffel's. For putting poor sweet Queen Keffels in harm's way. No. Like he's such a he's such a gimp. What he's such a gelded, cuckled little bitch in his chastity cage in the corner for his queen, his tranny queen Keffels. I'm so sorry that anyone harassed you as a result of me coming in to defend Vosh's lolly folder. Just hear him out. This is fucked. The other thing I want to do really quickly. Uh, before I wrap up this segment, is I do want to apologize is a milk to fat some. Gimp. Yo, the only thing I really want to do is uh, hopefully scavenge any pieces of my dying career. The ashes. He has the fucking. Well, he's gonna burn it. He makes it worse. Oh yeah. One of my friends who I care a lot about. Uh, one of those friends being Keffels. Uh, Imagine when I tweeted... believing that Lucas is your friend. Imagine yeah. believing in any way that any of these people on the internet that you've spoken to a handful of times to, like, try and get clout. And not even clout. It's more so, like, virtue signal that he's a righteous, progressive you know? warrior that you've done this for a bunch of times that you've white knighted for is actually your friend. Yeah. What a fucking loser. Who this knew? is the most performative bullshit ever, by the who, way. Who knew the house of cards would fall because of CP? <laughs> Well, I think people, people have been predicting. <laughs> yeah, I think people Probably have been predicting it for a long yeah. time. Uh, the tweet with my criticism of H three, I did try to tweet it in a way that it so wasn't about everyone. What a pathetic aggressive. loser! I was trying to tweet it in a way that wasn't aggressive. Like, why not, pussy? Buddy, why not, bitch? Just keep playing H3. it. It's so sad. I did try to tweet it in a way that it wasn't aggressive uh or i wasn't trying to be like crazy argumentative or whatever i wanted to state my criticism but i didn't want to be a dick about it okay i tweeted that tweet so i went pathetic. to bed and i woke up <laughs> to utter fucking chaos maybe you should have took a vacation maybe you should have done what shoe on head did and took a vacation Please. shoe on heads is by the way response to all this stuff with vosh the horse porn the lolly yeah. we showed it on the show yesterday uh guys i'm logging off for lent see you next week <laughs> see, you ne the, see you next week and the window outside <laughs> the is nuclear a bomb like, that's what's going on in the progressive community right now and the battle lines are being drawn like so far vosh only has on his side tipster Keffels. I don't think he has anybody else. Uh, no. Dylan Burns? Gone. But no one knows Dylan Xander Burns. Hall? Xander Hall is MIA. Yeah, Xander Hall's Xander. missing in action. Xander Hall is refusing to sweep under the it up. <laughs> Meanwhile, because... H3H3 H3 is against him. Contra Points is against him. <gasps> Sean the Skull is against him. Crouts against him. Bad empanadas against him. What a fucking bad. Imagine you're like knights round up. You well, look back somehow and everyone her. across the entire political spectrum has been united in their hatred of Vosh. It's the sword. Like mean? tankies, Nazis, liberals, normie conservatives, libertarians. Jays. Doesn't matter. They all are coming for Vosh's ass. Please. Ethan saw my tweet. Ethan didn't like my tweet, and Ethan responded to my tweet. As a result of that, I was getting a barrage of fucking hate. People Aww. were very fucking mad, Aww. and several of my friends came to my defense as a result of that. One of those people being... Several? Ca you mean... Caffles? You mean Caffles? One friend. And friend. because of that, they got so much shit. 
And I just want to take a moment to apologize to my friends for that. <laughs> when I posted that tweet... What a spineless blob. What a worthless little groveling worm milk fed gimp pussy bitch. <laughs> I want to apologize to my friends online for getting them to be hurt. That's the face of the It man, was their you know. decision to jump in and defend Lollicon, knowing all that that entailed. And, and trying then, to put up a shield of like, trans, trans defense. Activate! This looks bad on trans people! How? Is there something you'd like to tell the class about <laughs> trans people, maybe? Or like, what? What's wrong with you? I did not mean for that to happen, and I am genuinely sorry. Well, somebody in chat, Coach they Deadpill, you know, you dumb fuck. You didn't even see the sick lolly shit, and you still defended it. He he didn't see any yeah. of it. He didn't even know what it was. Nobody even described it to him, apparently. He was completely ignorant, and then he defends it as no, being said, no big deal. No, he said it was funny. Yeah, it was just funny. Goes, Look how hilarious this is. The CP? <laughs> on this guy's hard drive, along with the dozens of statements he's made in support of child porn over the years. <laughs> That are now recontextualized to make it look like he was trying to normalize pedophilia. Someone in chat said he did see it. Yeah, he probably did see it. Well, he's probably got the same shit in his jerk-off folder. Vosh probably sent it to him and was like, this is the good shit, pal. Yeah. Wouldn't be surprised. I'm going to say there's more chance there is than there isn't. You guys got harassed and attacked because of my actions. I learned from this experience that I need to shut the fuck up and forever log off. Log off. Quit. Unfortunately, he's not going to say those words, fuck. but we can hope. Before I do things, I need to better yeah, reflect on how my actions affect other people around me. And um, I'm sorry that happened. None of you guys deserve to be attacked in that way. And. Uh, why doesn't he just, okay. he may as well just open his wrists on camera. You know what? But you know what? It's like, I'm sorry that you defended me. It's like, you know what? I'm surprised. Maybe you all deserve to be caught in this because you're all fucking retarded and defending Lolly. Yeah. No. The people have spoken. We do not want Lolly I'm, normalized. I'm honestly shocked. Hipster. I'm honestly shocked he's not just like whipping himself as he does this. You know? Please forgive me. It's those forgive white people me. who like wash the black people's shoes. Yeah. And where I'm sorry, black I'm people. I'm sorry for slavery. Like, this is the equivalent of it. It's like the most cucked shit in the world. Like, it's fucking nuts. Accountability for that. Forgive me. Forgive me, queen. Um, the other thing is this whole experience has honestly ruined anime for me in general. <laughs> I said, I can't watch Naruto no more. Really? Before, like, hentai was never my thing. Wait, wait so this... I'm pressing X to doubt on, on that statement for him, you're by right. the way. Because if you're watching anime that's not hentai, you shouldn't have any problem with it. Yeah. Wait, it's like, what, you're beating off to regular anime? Well, no, he's saying that he, he's just... It's uh, impossible, apparently. To not for jerk any, off? Yeah, for any normal person to just not jerk off to Lolly. Like, he believes if you watch anime... You're fucked. You just can't tell what's a lolly and what's not. You're just apparently completely blind. And it could happen to anybody that they might just stumble upon anime and start jerking off to little cartoon kid children. That's basically his defense here, which is fucking unhinged. <laughs> but if you're into hentai, honestly, just stay the fuck away from that shit. Because holy fuck, like you could look. Just play it at something that looks perfectly fine and then later find out it's lolly and then you can no, find yourself wait, wait, no wait, 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 no wait, 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 wait. what the fuck what the fuck has this happened to you tipster no, what the fuck is going on he's like you could just be watching uh anime and jerking off to something that looked totally normal and then find out it was lolly con it was a six-year-old what the fuck that this six-year-old looked that? like they were fucking 21 to me you officer know, like, like yeah Listen, if, by the way, you can jerk off to a little girl and then the later way, on find out it was CP. By the way, the, the, the D-Gens who are jacking off to fucking hentai and lolly, right? Do you think they're going to look at this guy and go, all right, you know what? I quit. He's the voice of reason. Like, you know what? I mean, <laughs> well, they might relate to him in a lot of ways, but. I mean, it might. Yeah. 
a situation like this. So this whole situation has honestly ruined anime for me so fucking much that I, I never want to watch anime again. I don't want anything to do with anime. Get ready for this. I got my waist spin. <laughs> Out the anime. It's so funny, man. Uh, no like more a, anime. No more anime because it could happen to anyone that you could end up jerking off to CP. You throw it out the anime. You but... start out with Dragon Ball Z, and then you're fucking watching Loli Shota. Yeah. But yeah, what about the decade. child porn? Here, and I got some of my anime. We got Death Note. One of my the most <laughs> entry level <laughs> anime. The most normal in the world. anime. There's like no hint there's, of any of that. No, like, <laughs> Come on. Let death me just note. throw the death note is the entry put it's the fucking gateway drug, the gateway drug. To child porn into the trash with it. You know, you're watching light and Al, you're watching all these guys one day and the next day, you're being off to children. No. It's pure theater. No, you're this is so wild. My favorites? Fuck it. Throw it in the bin. Mind you, it's a totally Dragon Ball clean Z. trash can. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, he's tossing Dragon Ball Z in the bin. What the fuck? Oh, buddy. Those... The original Dragon Ball, though, is kind of fucked. I tried to go back to the original Dragon oh, yeah, Ball. Yeah, that's like weird. And, like, shit. Goku's little kid penis. <laughs> like, I'm like, what the fuck, man? I was, like, watching this shit when I was five years old. I'm sure it was fucking Another edited great out. Anime show? You go to Maybe the Crunchy right. Roll, and it's like, whoa. Maybe he is right. Not even. Numerals has subscribed for a month. Thank you so much. Throw it in the fucking bin. Robotech? Seems oh, and Ralph's refractionary period has subbed for two months. Thank you so much. <laughs> or I get the two Another subs. great Thank anime you. show? Throw it in the fucking bin. Robotech? Um, seems pretty harmless. <laughs> Listen, if there's <laughs> CP in Robotech... This is such... All this, animation... You know, these guys make a big deal about being bad faith or poisoning the well. Isn't this the very yeah. definition of being bad faith? Yeah. Like, nobody is saying this. Robotech. Other than me as a joke that you should destroy all your anime because it's a gateway <laughs> drug to lolly or whatever. Robotech. Like, this is He's bullshit. like, look, I was jerking off to the fucking Gundams. There's some lolly in there. Throw it in the fucking bin. Ease, based on one of my favorite RPG franchises, in the f fucking bin. Hell, I've got video games. You know that are he's anime fishing inspired. all this no, stuff dude, out of there. That's the cleanest bag I've ever that's seen. Like, like, there's <laughs> nothing in there. Like, no, you need to pour like paint on it or something. Those go in the bin too. Uh, Ease, the video game, gone. It's a video game. What I love how he has to do on? all of this just because Vosh opened his degenerate kitty porn yeah. and horse cock folder on stream. Listen. So he has to do this whole performative song and dance. Listen, no one just because your he's on your anime. side in politics doesn't mean you have to do this. You know that, right? By the way, like you could just let him go. There's plenty of other degenerate communists to look up to. But no one's like Dragon Ball. Like, no, Tipster, you're missing the point here. The point was. The fucking kids! Yeah! Holy and the shit. horse cock! Like, what the fuck? The Final Fantasy games? There's probably some lolly in Okay, this is fucking. <laughs> <There's some more. laughs> no, okay, this is fucking like. Uh, this, this is so good though. Because up until this point, I thought to myself, I'm like, how did this guy ever get popular? Because I'm like, this guy fucking sucks. It was Susie I Lou watching anime on YouTube. Okay. She was watching anime, and he's like, that's copyright infringement, and he reported her to Crunchyroll. But I can kind of see how now, because this is so funny, man. This is the most retarded shit ever. Oh, shit. No, it's all this. Gifted a sub. And Leonardo Taylor has gifted a sub. Let's go. And let's not get even some... numerals subscribe for a month. All right, Tell let's one. finish this Thanks, off. Liana. And then we got one more clip to play, and all then right. we'll get Jim here. And then after the go, take a piss to get ready. Uh, oh, Final Fantasy VII Remakes. Gotta go. Listen, like, this is his life. It is. Uh, Catherine, pretty sure there might be something sussy in there. Let's get rid of it. No. Pretty sure there for might good be measure, something sussy in there. Ethan calls people he views as lollicons, he calls them lollipops. Well, to be fair, I mean, lollipop chainsaw is a teenage girl and you're looking up the skirt. 
What the fuck? So we'll get rid of lollipop Moral chains. Moral puritanism now! <laughs> so we must be- cleanse the earth of anime and all its works of depravity today. Preacher PPP has something stuck in his She's craw. She's 18 in the game. Is she 18? She's a senior. So okay. It, 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 you could jail to okay. it. Okay. Felted, et cetera. On the fucking safe side. I'm so sick of... They're remaking that game, by the way. ...of anime at this point. They are, yeah. I want nothing to fucking do with it. No more anime in my house. I'm sorry, babe. I know you're in the other room. I know you still like Pokemon and shit like that. So we have to throw it. No more Pokemon because Vosh had a fucking kitty porn folder. No more Pokemon. This is is fucking stupid. He's like trying to be like, they're coming for your anime. If we let them take down Vosh for this kitty shit and horse cock, then... You won't even be able to watch Pokemon. It'll be a dark, sad day out there, folks. So we need to rally the wagons around his lolly folder. It was just goblin porn, folks. Give me a fucking break. Yeah, it's retarded, dude. Uh, no more. No moss. It's Jover. No more anime in it's this house. Jover. Fuck that shit. <laughs> right? Okay. Imagine so Jay this. I just one final uh, point. I uh, purchase the... Uh, the extended version of, of Meats? Probably. Let me do that right now. Probably. Oh, three, five seconds. All right. So what? we're going to go into one final clip <clears throat> here um, about flamenco. Oh, now, fuck me. Tipster All right, I'm just... says that because Vosh has a lollicon folder, it doesn't mean he's a pedophile. But flamenco Shoda means that he is a pedophile. Now, he's right about the second part, but it's the hypocrisy of it all. And he says the reason why Flamenco is guilty of being a pedophile and not Vosh is because Flamenco uses Kiwi Farms and Flamenco is a Nazi. So as long as you have the right politics, according to these people, doesn't matter what's on your hard drive, doesn't matter what you're jerking off to, it's about being on the right team. So let's quickly pull up this clip and play it for people. By the way, when Flamenco's your guy, I'm just setting up the camera. Somebody donated to Tipster saying, you and Flamenco should go bowling together. Tipster said last night on stream, no, Flamenco is a pedo. True. Flamenco's a pedo. T- I mean, Flamenco probably is a pedo, Woo! and he's definitely a stalker and a kiwi farmer and a real fucking weirdo. I don't regret what I said about him. I mean, he's right what about, about all of that. Nor do I take it back. But what about fucking Vosh? Exactly. <laughs> so I want these hypocritical fucking scumbags fucking deleted. I want them deleted. I want them fucking deleted. Remember, Mr. Anti Deplatform Keemstar advocating for people being deplatformed over false pedo and lollipop. But you're in favor of deplatforming. Okay, nice. Yeah. You're the Keffels guy. Yeah. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. But that's the way they view it. That's the way it is. If you're on their team politically, you're on Blue Tribe. You do no wrong. We cover for all your crimes, Blue Tribe. You on Red Tribe? You on Nazi Tribe? You on Kiwi Farms Tribe? You pedophile. You evil. Even though they've done the exact same fucking thing. It doesn't matter to him. It's all just a partisan political game. And that's why these motherfuckers are, well, are well, fucked. Well, this is why. All right, I got it all set up. All here. right, we got <laughs> everything set up. Uh, yeah, so so the thing is, too, is is fucking Vosh, you say a racist joke. You know, he, he referred to us as like a Nazi yeah. show. It's, it's like, they should get banned. They, they should be banned, 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 banned. And then everyone's like, maybe sh- like watching CP and advocating for fucking kids being fucked. It's a bad idea, and you should be maybe passionate. also being a zoophile and wanting to suck horse cock you know is a mean? bad thing. Like Absolutely. I don't know, maybe these zoophiles that want to fuck animals shouldn't have a platform. How about that? Yeah. I All right, know. let me use the bathroom real quick. All right, no, Andy's no, no, no. going to take a quick piss. I'm going to look at the chat here. I'll talk to you guys. It's going actually pretty fast. Crumple Stiltskin says all commies are pedophiles. <laughs> Well, not quite, but, you know, I, I understand the sentiment. We have quite a few donos came in here. Emperor Caleb Teen 
says, Andy, I've tried to set up a Kino Casino Tekken 8 tourney since last summer with it all. Add me back on PS5 and let my Kuma destroy your waifu. Uh, okay, and then he puts in his gamer tag. We'll reach out to you later. Tiara Sarder Respector says, The Theater Boy Mafia endorses Andy 100%. Don't listen to the obese homo horsky. You got this? Am I the obese homo? Oh, that hurts my feelings. Reaper for five. Ralph and Flamenco also lost to Jim. And you know how they ended up. Stay safe. Reaper, the revisionist history. Medicare lost to Flamenco. He didn't even win one fucking match. Oh, fuck. Le Legolas for five dollars. Say... <laughs> Every time I looked the over way, the wall during the Battle of Helm's Deep, I got so bricked up. Imagine trying to fight orcs when there is short stack goblins amidst them. Every time I shot a short stack goblin with an arrow, I came. Legolas, I think you might need to seek out help, buddy. I think you might need to seek out By the way, uh, real fast here, I heard that from, from downstairs. But yeah, I will be doing a like... First of all, Memeology wants to fight me in Tekken, so I'll be down for yeah, that. Yeah, the Memeology um, versus Worski Tekken match. Yeah, we'll do that. This is and a name I haven't heard in quite some time. I know. Time. No, he's, he's still going. He's still going. And also, I sent uh, a gym the link. All right. And also, uh, I want to do like a room, like, like a, what's it called? A um, fucking, uh, uh, like, a, like a tournament room, basically, that you could join in. While we're live, if you have Tekken 8, it's cross-play, and we can all fight each other and shit. It'd be fun time, so, yeah. Make sure you have your mains ready. Sean from Lobby, Potentially Lobby, Criminal Lobby. is sniping. Shout out to Sean. Sean, what's up, Our dude? George R.R. R. Martin-looking motherfucker. How you doing, bro? Uh, Hopefully you don't have any Baldo trickery he going He felt on. it. Fuck it. What's his face? Rikana. Rikana. By the way, the clip channel, if you're new to this... Uh, 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 down there, if you hit the clip channel, we've released the uh, uh, the Nikita hour video. And yesterday. we did like what over an hour on Vosh as well. An hour and twenty minutes are down there on we the whole Vosh scandal. We have clips all the time. It's the edited. best way to follow us if you don't want to sit here and watch a whole live, live stream. stream whatever, with yeah. All the super chats, but... Medicare masochist for one hundred dollars. Oh, let's go. The let's go. Felt it, and also, uh, by the way, our Gum Road links down there. We do bonus shows there, and also you can watch every yes. upload. Uncensored, fully gum road links down there. The archives are up there as well. So Jim, All right, Jim, Jim should be here eventually. There is he that is. him? There he is. Yo, Jim. Jim, yeah. how are you doing, buddy? Uh, can you hear me? Yeah, you hear yeah. us? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're coming in. Yo, what up? Wow, a lot of shit talk this week, huh? Well, wow, buddy. I mean, you had that uh, horrible physical injury right before the match. Wow. I, I know. An easy out. I did fall down the stairs, too. Now, was that after PPP pushed your ass because he has a bet going on, or what happened exactly? Hey, listen, man. Just because I bet everything on Mr. Medicare doesn't mean. You lied to me. Well, no. Oh, it's... Oh, sorry there, buddy. Oops, you took oh, a trip no, down you the took stairs. A little tumble. Oh. Well, I didn't salt the stairs today. Salt? I salt. didn't salt the stairs oh, like salt oh, coffee yeah. put the salt in on you, pal. <laughs> and then Andy slipped. He fucked up his wrist. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I... Well, I, I watched uh, I watched the show before jumping in. I saw you were talking about uh, Vouch and uh, Tipster. Yeah. Yes. What's your take on all this, Jim? <laughs> Well, I thought that Vosh was, uh, you know, I mean, this guy tried to get a retarded girl to jack a horse off. I mean, that's been out there for like three fucking years. Wait, what? Well, enlighten us. Is this true? Wait, he tried no, and, no, no. In the Discord messages with Vosh, he's oh. hitting on a, re a literal retarded girl, and he's trying to get her to jack a horse off. Pardon? What the And fuck? nobody had a problem with that until now. Holy well, shit. Well, no, because, you know, something, something proletariat, something, something yeah. working class. Yeah. You're going to rise up. We need to and stop I, the bourgeoisie by jerking off horses. That's cool. I really like, I love the tipster part. Sorry, honey, you can't, you can't enjoy Pokemon because this guy I watch who wants retarded girls to jack horses off, um, he's into horse semen and CGI lollies. So no more Pokemon for you, babe. You might turn into a ravenous pedophile. Yeah, Final Fantasy VII Remake, all the CP lollies. Ollie in there. Like, oh, we know. Like, all those video games. <laughs> Gotta get rid of yeast. Yeah, it's a video game, real hardcore lolly all up in that shit. 
It's the stupidest shit I've ever seen. I don't know what the fuck these people are doing. Vaj is a pervert. Jesus, come on. Why can't they just let him go? Just let him I don't understand. Isn't there anybody else who can preach their communist gospel to them? Like, isn't there a bunch of these people out there? Well, Vaj does host a lot of their... um, Their uh, websites websites and their merch stores and stuff like that. Did you hear this stuff about the white tree or whatever the fuck it's called? White forest? So, So is he like... Is he... Is he basically like the Nick? The, he's so White Tree is cozy, and he's Nick Fuentes. Yes. Basically, basically, basically yeah. yeah. Like he hosts Shoe on Head's website. That's what she's gone. She's gone. She logged off for Lent, rather than uh, confront what's going on with Vosh. She's just gone for Lent <laughs> mysteriously. She even put the nuke outside. Like, like showing. Yeah, I know what's happening, and I'm not around for it. I'm not around for it. But the smartest uh, fucking well, angle. Well, it's the smartest move is just to take a vacation. Or is this it to time. defend fucking Lolly for Vosh? Well, even Hunter Avalone, the guy who, like, Vosh forgave his sins of being a conservative Nazi, <laughs> he even turned on Vosh this week. Yeah. He was like, no, actually, like, I can't defend this. I'm sorry. Well, um, well to, be, to be fair, that is because Hunter found out that the uh, guy that showed up with the shotgun was sent by White Run. Oh. It's a message from Bosch about talking, you know, when he shouldn't talk. You know, it's a little hush hush kind of thing. No more, no more talking about retarded girls jacking horses off, buddy, or uh, things are going to happen. Holy cow. But it's, it's just crazy. Like, he has, like, this whole history of, like, being really creepy with all these women that he was messaging online. Like, the... can, can we talk, you know, before we even get into that, I, I know we've got our fighting game tournament. Yeah, and yeah. You can you can hold on. I'll let you relax your ass muscles before I beat them into the ground. But I'm going to fuck you. Yeah, uh, go ahead. The thing with, with Vosh is, can we talk about his fucking ear? Can I get yeah, a definitive yeah. answer as to what the fuck is going on with this guy's ear? What I think happened was he got a... Um... Like a, a spacer, a, a spacer in? gauge, whatever, and it infected his ear, and it filled with like pus, like he just like became this giant. Like it was the size of a golf ball. If he popped that thing, it would paint a wall. Oh, it's fucking nasty. It's nasty. It's like a permanent deformity now to his ear. Like I don't. He had think an operation on it. He had, he had an, an operation. operation on it to. But fix it's still it. all demented looking. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell that was, and no well, one brought like, it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for years. For years, it would, like, grow and shrink and grow and shrink. And nobody, everybody's like, the thing, you could not look at it. But everybody tried to play like it was, in, you know, you know, this giant fucking parasite on the side of his fucking head. Yeah. Crying. <laughs> how, how did he get away with it for so long? It's not, so now Mudahar is g- going after him. And Keffels, too, right? All these normies are... Keffels. <laughs> It all, all thanks to the fucking for tips and Capels opening their goddamn mouth. Thank God. It's amazing. It's yeah. amazing. Well, all the Catboy Ranch stuff is now coming out, Jim. And you were talking about that back when people were first discovering about it. And it was swept under the rug by all the normies, everybody on the left, because they had to be a good ally. But now suddenly the moment has come where they're just like... No, we're not going to deal with Keffels anymore. We're Thank not going to... Su- I'm surprised. Like, I can't believe that the day has finally come. I know. It's crazy. Where they're turning on each other. And now Vosh is yeah. going to make an hour video. What do you think his response will be, Jim? His <laughs> one hour, 76 page uh, response. Uh, I'll, 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 tell, I'll tell you what his response is. His response is going to be something like, um, there's nothing wrong with me whacking off to horses you eat cows so i can fuck animals oh. um and then he'll go on to say uh, lolly is subjective they're really goblins with no tits and they're magical girls that are ten thousand years old uh, yeah. That, yeah that's probably it the standard playbook then yeah and but- then he'll take the destiny tweet where destiny's calling him a, a pervert and he'll play all the things where destiny would argue about um well what's the matter with uh, my sister and her brother fucking each other or you know uh, ethical uh, ethical child banging because you know destiny had those hot takes for a while when he was doing those arguments <laughs> Why have these hot takes? <laughs> I love how they're all going to tear each other down. Because you, have you, have you heard ContraPoints is apparently going to do a whole like hour long video on Vosh? Ex- I thought they were dead. Didn't I they, know. Didn't they themselves? Well, they no. some I, somehow no. I can't believe they haven't joined the forty one percent. But uh, they're they've been scamming the Patreon there. Like I think they make like over a hundred grand a month and they make one to do video nothing. A year. One video a year. But, but, but the production budget on this like anti Vosh video is going to be quite something. Well, well, the thing is, is so uh, Caffles had the big brained idea 
to make it all about trans people and go, first you go after Vosh's CP, now it's about trans. And then Contra was like, no. 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 <laughs> no. But um, like Vosh is somehow, I don't know if he realizes this or not, he's like a white man. You know, like I don't. I don't know. I think it's flipped his mind. You know, yeah. I, I don't know. Yeah. What, I don't know what he's thinking. <laughs> I don't know what that crew is thinking. Now, I've said that Vosh's solution to get out of this is that he should become trans. Yeah. That he should get on the hormones and get the surgery going. Full dick is off. that his way out of this, or? No, I don't think. That. <laughs> I, I think he's going to go with the uh, oh, what an intellectual fucking uh, person I am, and oh, yeah. look at how big brained I am. And you guys are just too, uh, too hillbilly retarded uh, right yes. wingers to understand the the beauty of the ethical mm. child horse fucking argument that I'm making over here. <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to go well. I don't think he should make this response video. I like, do. No, yeah, Vosh, yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah, do it. Please. Make the video. Show yeah. us, show us your truth, we King. The please, the please, please enlighten us. It'll make be it real. Two Two hours long. Yeah. yeah Two hours yeah. long, but three. Go for three. <laughs> oh man. Oh, but uh, I I don't understand what Tipster's doing. Um oh, well, I don't uh, let me be I, I don't know who the fuck Tipster really is I other don't than know the either. commentary guy, here. right? That's yeah. about what I know about him. Yeah, Give you a, a fast rundown here. Basically, worked with like Augie and those guys in commentary. And Wasn't got, he the he was the thirsty one, right? That tried to fuck a hundred thousand women or something. Yes, yes, yes. Right. And then basically, what happened was uh, he blew up through Susie Lou, this girl who used to watch anime on YouTube, and he went after her for copyright infringement, and he blew up basically and scared her off of YouTube and all this shit. Then suddenly. <laughs> He started like, Wait, so he went after. There's only one pedophile allowed on YouTube. Get this anime bitch out of here. It's Tipster and Tipster only. No, fuck me. Yeah. And then okay. he decided to just join the tranny brigade. Like he like started to drink a Bud Light on stream every day and go, "Here, conservatives, I'm having a Bud Light." Are you triggered that I'm drinking this shitty beer? Right? And I was even I tweeted him and I'm like, "All right, Bud, we get the point." On one of his tweets about Bud Light, and he blocked me, and then slowly I, he went didn't deeper. He, and, yeah. Didn't didn't okay? Did Andy? Didn't he argue like, um, you don't understand the context of what Bausch is saying? Like, what context do I need for an well, anime right? girl that's six years old drinking horse semen? Yeah, exactly. The context, and he said it's bad faith. It's bad faith. We're all like, what's with the fucking lolly butt? Well, their whole their whole thing is to deflect onto these statements that Vouch made, where it's like, oh, well, that's actually out of context, even though it is in its context, and there really is no context that could justify his galaxy brain take that there are positive outcomes for children getting molested. Yeah. Um, but okay, they want to deflect from that when the real elephant in the room is the lollycon on his hard drive. Oh, and see, the I thought you were going to say little... the, the real elephant in the room was his wife. <laughs> wife does anybody fucking know what was that creature that stumbled onto his stream the one time i've never seen anything quite like it and not even uh, numerals for 10 subs thank you so much but jams let's fucking go yeah and uh and like so so basically tipsters like whole thing was defend 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 all these people attack conservatives and also well, yeah, ban you, people with right have you ideology. heard the brianna Wu defense a name from so long ago is she defending Vouch yes. too? No way. Brianna Wu has said it's an election year. So we need to <laughs> we need to think about the consequences of canceling Vosh during an election year. Oh my god. I, I don't understand. Context. I don't understand what this, you know, full throttle defense is like. It doesn't hurt any of these other people to let him get, you know, kneecapped by his own stupidity. It's not going to affect Wu or uh, Tipster or any of them. Like they've got their own shit they're doing. Yeah. And maybe he really is that deeply ingrained. I don't know how big of a company he runs that he would have this much influence. Well, I don't. I just can it really be that or like has, I, has that even been confirmed? Like who who found that? Is Peter Coffin? It was Peter Coffin, which again, it's <laughs> like <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I know. Oh, it's like what the fuck what timeline are we in he where like Peter whole, Coffin's going after him? Like, like he was no. on the SJW side and gamer. Yeah. Are game. you sure it was? Are, are you sure it was Peter Coffin uh, and yes. not his inflatable doll wife? The yeah. <laughs> no, it was. I was. I was like 
Peter Coffin? Like, he's been hiding as Falcon on game ranks for the last, like, seven years after the whole fuck. And he's the one who's like, only people defending Vosh are the ones part of his company. Shocking. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? I mean, if that, that if that's true, that's that's pretty fucking amazing that he dug that up. Yeah. In fact, someone was like, finally doing real journalism, Peter. <laughs> I don't it's know. Not. It, it, it just seems to me like, you know, why why jump in to defend him? Because if he fails and his audience yeah. like goes away or it just seems like it's more opportunity for people on the left to take his audience and like there's a financial incentive for them to let him fail. Yeah. So it's very weird that they jump in to defend him unless like they're really invested in like the normalizing of like child porn stuff. Like, is that what it's about? Or, or is it about like that they just be. can't let a leftist ever be seen to be like, like this? That, or- like- I think it's in a way where Vosh has been such a figurehead for so long that it's almost like this can't be. The right wing can't win like this. Like it's almost like you've invested so much time in this guy that like but it's just like him, a team sport. Like it's not like there's any sort of real principles at play here or anything like that. It's just like my team good cuz blue. Yeah. And there's no problem with anybody on my team. Meanwhile, well, like I said, with the like the coffin thing. I mean, if that is true, to be honest, like the left wing generates a lot of money. Yeah. Like if you're a left wing content creator, you're making ridiculous money. You look at ContraPoints, you look at Lindsay Ellis, you look at H uh, Bomber guy. Yeah. You're talking about Patreons that could go up to a hundred thousand or more a month. Yeah. I mean, it's a fucking ridiculous amount yeah. of money. If you were going to be a, you know, like a sellout chill and do politics, you would want to go with the left. Would you know, but so, they actually yeah. try and say it's the right wing that makes more money. Not, no. not yeah. anywhere close. Not anywhere it's close. It's been a tough go for us guys. <laughs> it's been a tough go on the right wing. A lot of people losing payment processors, sponsorships, getting well, canceled, I mean, even, getting even, deplatformed. Even outside of that, even outside of that kind of shit. I mean, just basic cash in hand sort of thing. Mm. So if Vosh has some kind of like control of the purse strings and he's somehow running shit like that, I mean, yeah, that's a lot of fucking money. Like, it's a ridiculous amount of money that he would, you know, be seeing where it's coming and going, who's getting what, how much he could get. I, I have no idea. But like that, it still blows my mind if Coffin actually found that. I don't, unless this is like some deep revenge for making fun of his inflatable woman yeah. and he's just fucking with people. I don't know. Well, but uh, Or or it's um, him hitching his wagon with Contra because Contra Points has a huge following and I think that video is going to do a lot of damage to Vosh. Yeah. I think that would be the, the biggest bomb because like Contra should be the one theoretically defending Vosh. So I think Peter saw this and went... Oh shit! I'm I'm well, hitching my wagon. Well, after right that, H bomber guy unfollowed Vosh yeah. on Twitter once Contra signaled that they were going after him. Yeah. Um. He, you know, and then Sean the Skull, that guy. I don't know if you know that guy. From- He's come in after Vosh as well. So there's a lot of people on the left who are not uh, happy. But with are they? Vosh. I mean, are, are they following Contra points? Are they following uh, what is it? Ethan Klein, H three, H three. Because he seems be- to be the one that. Yeah. He's really leading the charge on that, yeah. right? Like he's, he's done, done like three, three podcasts shows. on it now, which With is like thirty to fifty thousand live viewers. Fifty-five k yeah. was like one of them. Right. I saw. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. So I, I think it's yeah. Sure, the left makes a lot of money, but Vosh is now like the bottom of the totem pole. Like you only have Caffles and well, and he's Tick he's like defend. radioactive, isn't yeah. he now? Like. And a lot of people, like there was, what's his name, Mr. Sunday, who is one of these big Vosh guys. He said, like, Vosh is being really selfish by not just leaving completely. And, and like, he was, like, the biggest nut sucker of Vosh. Of, of Vosh, because yeah. he's, like, now all of the people who defend him are going to be tarred and feathered as being, like, pedophile defenders or closet well, I mean, pedophiles Va- themselves. Yeah. The Vosh isn't going to walk away, though. I mean, I don't know what is, uh, def- again, well, I mean, I already laid out what I think he's going to rationalize it as, but it's too much money to walk away from he's not gonna walk what is he gonna do go work a normal job fuck that exactly he's making tens of thousands of dollars a month he's gonna try to find some retarded way to make fucking horses sound normal yeah Yeah, i mean 
at the end of the day, he's going to probably get away with this. He'll have a somewhat diminished audience. I don't think he'll ever be taken seriously as this grand political mastermind it's again. Old, I think, old. like, I don't think he'll get any more invites to the White House, for instance. I think that he, there'll be a ceiling on him for how high he can go from this point forward. But he's still going to have a fan base that gives him a lucrative amount of money. He'll make more money and, than average people. Sure. Oh, yeah. Holy shit! I, I've got it. I've got a pitch for Vosh. Mm. Um, when everything's falling apart, you need to get a hold of Ali Akbar, Ali, Ali Akbar <laughs> Alexander, <laughs> and you need to come out with a uh, political consultancy agency. He's the right wing. You're the left wing. You're both <laughs> ravenous pedophiles, allegedly. Allegedly. And allegedly. Allegedly. Yeah. And you guys can you can you can be like the powerhouse of uh, fucking online entertainment in Washington D.C. <laughs> Get away with your pedophile <laughs> scandal. Brought Are to you, you by Ollie and Vosh. That's right. Every time every time a politician comes into the office, you say, Is it do you have a little boy or a little girl? And if it's a boy, it goes with Ollie. If it's a girl, it goes with Vosh. Oh. And that's how these deals are made, right? And I mean, you'll make a bajillion.